Well, we lost the game in the first five minutes of the game. Questions? Are you doing anything specific to to kind of get through your three-point defense and, and hit the shots? They made shots. Yeah. We did a poor job guarding it. We're one of the best teams in the country at guarding three-point shots. Talked about it for four days and did a poor job transferring our points of emphasis onto the floor tonight. So really, really, really frustrating. We talked about how talented an offensive team they were individually and collectively, yet we let them get loose, get confident. Right from the giddy-up. Um, so, um, you know, poor job by me. So. Because they seem to have more success against your man-to-man -man than they did against your zone. Our zone was really good. Our zone was really good. Zone got us back in the game. Our zone was really good. Uh, you know, tail of two halves. Our zone was ex excellent. And we finally, you know, he hadn't played... I think I've watched five games, five games I watched, total games. Uh, I think he, I thought, I saw, I possibly saw one possession of 2-3 zone <clears throat> in five games. So They couldn't guard us either. Uh, they had a problem with Canty and a couple guys off the bounce. Uh, but I thought our zone attack in the first half was really poor. Quick, selfish uh, at times. And then the second half we did exactly how we're supposed to play. We thought we carved the zone up, you know, had patience, got any shot we wanted. But our zone was equally as good uh, to us. So, but can't take a hole like that. Uh, can't take a hole like that. You know, I mean, the, to give up 10 threes in the first half is just mind-boggling to me. Mind-boggling. It's 30 points. Uh, I don't think we've had anybody make 10, 10 threes in a game against us. So, consistency. Got to find some consistency. The inconsistency is that part of youth. I mean, it's, it's a really young team. You have there's not a lot of upperclassmen out there, <coughs> and, and, and there's no one upperclassmen walking through that door. Right. So, grow up, grow up. I am not using that as an excuse. I will not let them use that as an excuse. We are who we are. We have more than enough. Another guy goes down tonight with Manning's injury. So we'll see. Yeah. I don't know yet. So next guy ready. More than enough. We have more than enough. Every day, every practice, every game, they become less and less of a, 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 an inexperienced team. You gain experience every game, every practice. So that is not an excuse that will be tolerated in my program. Coach, you can't ask for any more out of your point guard. He's been he's been a warrior. I mean, 40 minutes and all he has to, all he has to handle. He's got to help us win. And even though he's undersized, I mean, type one gets to the hoop, gets to the line a lot, and then converts. I mean, that's. Yeah. Uh, that's right. But again, I thought, you know, he, did, he was terrific, but where, you know, where were all of our guys the first five minutes of the game? I mean, we start the game with a layup, and we miss a layup. We get into isolation, we're in the first play of the game, miss a layup. You know, all those possessions come back to haunt you. you know? And our defense was, uh, our defense was totally uh, non existent in the first, first portion of the game. Let guys get loose. You guys don't they want to look and say, read this, read him. He was a Sun Belt Rookie of the Year. Played at Georgia Championship. He's really good. I told our guys all week, don't look at stats. Don't look at That's as good a complete offensive team as we may play against. One of them. And we didn't guard at all in the first half. Our, our zone was outstanding. Happy holidays. <clears throat>